Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. So for today, we are going to be planning out the week of August 15th through the 21st and you can probably tell it is going to be a really hectic week. We have a lot going on between kids activities and appointments, so it's going to be crazy, but we will get through it. <laughs> And for today, I'm using kit 35. This is the whimsical strawberry kit that I've been looking forward to using for quite some time now. So I'm excited to use it for today's plan with me. And if you're interested in anything that I am using today, it can all be found in my Etsy shop. So I'm using the traditional vertical monthly planner as well in light mode. So just FYI there, but yeah. I have the link to my shop in the description box if you are interested and if you have any questions at all definitely reach out to me on Etsy and I would be happy to help you out. So there is a lot going on behind the scenes over here let me tell you what it's been pretty busy but a couple things to update you guys on. So I had my Invisalign appointment this week and I feel like a free woman. <laughs> because I no longer have to wear my Invisalign during the day. I only have to wear it at night. They have a little bit of refinement to do. So the orthodontist is taking a look at if he's trying to decide if he's going to get like a couple more trays lined up for me or if he feels like it's such a minor refinement that it can be done through a retainer. So I don't have another appointment for six weeks, um, which is kind of weird, but that was just the soonest they could get me in. So if they can get me in sooner, they will. But in the meantime, while I'm kind of waiting for that follow-up appointment, I have to wear my tray just at night only. And I'm really excited to get these attachments off. I only actually had to get three put on, so it's really not that bad, but they're still kind of annoying and they just look funny. So I'll be excited for when that comes, but just not having to wear my trays during the day has been <laughs> really nice really really nice so that's one thing this past week i've been really really focused on getting all of the kits designed for november and december and i did it <laughs> it was kind of an ambitious goal but i was able to design all of the kits for november and december I wanted to get that done so that I would free up some time and like mental space for all of the changes that are going to be coming in the very near future. So I'm going to be doing sticker kit reformats, there's going to be new weekly layouts for the monthly planners, and then of course I've got these huge add-ons, which the add-ons are a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work getting all the inserts put together and the sticker books and everything like that. So I give myself two full weeks to get those done. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but I have my whole schedule mapped out for the entire rest of the year as far as, you know, what I'm going to be working on, what projects I'm going to be working on and with different deadlines and things like that. We have a big vacation coming up. We're going to be going to North Carolina pretty soon so there's just a lot going on and yeah so but getting that done I feel so accomplished and I have the absolute best team ever because I got all the November kits designed and Allison and Sharon are already almost done with all the November kits as far as like cropping and compressing them and getting them in the good notes files so we are well ahead of schedule which is absolutely incredible so major props I have to clap <laughs> over here for Allison and Sharon because I honestly could not do this without them. I am so grateful for both of them. And yeah, we've been hard at work over here. That is for sure. I'm going to be working on the health and fitness add-on as of next week. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty intimidated <laughs> by that particular add-on just because uh, there's going to be a lot involved. I know that I, there's going to be a lot of inserts and things like that. There's certain things that I'm just not like super familiar with that I'm going to have to do research on, which is part of the process, you know, like zone cleaning for home management. I knew nothing about zone cleaning <laughs> before going into that. So same 
same thing with the health and fitness and I do my absolute best to get as many inserts as are requested up for you guys um, but yeah there's gonna be a lot for this one so I'm gonna do the best I can do and you know try to make things as flexible and universal as possible so um, but it's gonna be I'm a little intimidated by it I'm not gonna lie it's gonna be a huge project <laughs> that's for sure but I really want to get that the health and fitness and the reading done before the new planners are launched so my current plan right now is to get the health and fitness and the reading add-ons done and then I'm going to be switching gears to the monthly planners working on new weekly layouts get those launched and then I'm going to be working on sticker kit reformats getting that all done and then after the sticker kit reformats I'm going to work on oh I'm going to do an the Christmas add-on too I believe sometime in like late October early November ish so that's going to be kind of thrown into the mix there a little bit and then I'll be working on the faith add-on and I'd like to do memory keeping, I think, before the end of the year. So there's lots going on. And then in 2023, I'm just going to try, I'm going to kind of set a goal to release like one sort of themed add-on insert sticker book type of deal once per month. That would be ideal for me. But of course, a lot's going to depend on what we have going on with like family life and stuff too. Because like I said, those add-ons, they take a long time to get done. It's a lot of work. So yeah so that's what's going on over here and then the other thing is that i have been massively nerding out on budget stuff and andrew and i have had lots and lots of discussions about changes we want to make with our budget really thinking through you know what are our spending habits what are our priorities now because your priorities shift and i feel like when your priorities shift then your budget typically shifts as well and just kind of taking a look at, you know, where we're struggling and what our goals are and things like that. And we have come up with a really great plan for our budget that I feel really, really good about. I feel like it aligns really well with our family priorities for our priorities as a couple and things like that. So I will be sharing more about that in the near future. I would really love to bring back budget videos in September. So that is currently my goal my plan is to bring those back in september um, we're gonna have to kind of see how things go i want to th i want to really think through my youtube schedule i really want to like i i don't have to be super rigid about it necessarily i personally like to be on a pretty consistent schedule as much as possible but it's honestly trying to balance etsy and youtube has been a massive struggle for me because Etsy honestly is the priority over YouTube, but I also really enjoy YouTube. And so I want to fix, like fit that in, in some way, but I have to do it in a way where it's, you know, allowing me enough time to get all these other things done. And I think honestly, the rest of this year is just going to be busy in general because of the changes that are being made and they're pretty big changes. So, I think like once the new year rolls around and things are kind of more streamlined and kind of set, you know, I think we'll be good because the hub system in general is still a pretty new system. You know, I just launched it earlier this year, so it's only been around for a few months and it's really been just kind of this natural evolution of figuring out, you know, how I want to enhance it. and provide more options to personalize it and make it work for you because that's really the whole premise of it is that it's the it provides that opportunity to build your dream planner with very minimal effort um so it's just taken a little bit to kind of figure out you know what i want to make and like what i want the style to be and that kind of thing and i always try I, I really, really put a lot of thought behind things and sort of peer into the future. Um, you know, I want I want to create products that I can just make tiny tweaks to and that will kind of stand the test of time. That's something I've always strived for and it's something I've talked about in the past. And so I feel like the hub system has really opened the door for that and it's exactly what I was envisioning without even knowing it for so long but yeah so it's just been kind of a process but that in general is what i would like to do 
What I'm currently thinking of doing for YouTube is putting my, my digital plan with me is on Mondays. I'm considering switching those to Mondays, doing budget videos on Wednesdays, and then on Fridays, making that the new releases. Like, so instead of the first Wednesday of every month, do the first Friday of every month. I also really like alliteration, so first Friday, I don't know. I'm kind of nerdy like that. But what I figured I can do is on Fridays, I can post sort of the random videos. So I can do new releases, and I can also do like, you know, weekly day in the life, like week in the life, week in the life vlogs type of thing. My monthly plan with me is just those kind of sporadic videos that are done pretty much every month, but have more of a set day for them. So, you know, obviously the first Friday of every month I would have new releases for all the sticker kits. When I release add-ons, it's typically on Fridays. I don't know if you guys have like noticed that pattern, but I usually try to release those on Friday so you guys have everything over the weekend. And then, um, and then yeah, I, that would give me a couple days to put in a like day in the life, week in the life type of vlog and do my monthly plan with me. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I definitely want to bring budget videos back because I mentioned this in a previous video, but <laughs> the budget videos, I need them personally because they help hold me accountable. I feel like July, once I stopped doing the budget videos, I sort of just stopped tracking things and it was a mess. It was a disaster and it's taken a lot of effort and time and conversations and things like that to get it all cleaned up and figured out. So um, I definitely wanna bring those back and yeah. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, doing the digital plan with me is Mondays, Wednesday making those the budget videos and then Fridays doing new releases and then week in the life vlogs and monthly plan with me's and things like that. The other thing that I'm kind of considering is filming my digital plan with me videos in real time, um, much like I do with the monthly plan with me's. My only concern is the length. Um, you know, I've kind of been known to film really long videos. <laughs> and the one thing I like about these digital plan with me's is that they tend to be shorter videos and everything. And I personally don't mind filming long videos. It's not like a thing that it's with me. I just worry about like who's gonna wanna sit and like listen to me just babble on for that long. <laughs> but let me know what you think about that too because um, sometimes I miss that. I feel like, you know, back in my pen and paper planner days, I used to film my plan with me's in real time and I really enjoy doing that for the monthly plan with me. So I've been really considering kind of switching it up a little bit. And it could be a mixture of things like maybe I, you know, talk a little bit and then I also like speed up the video and throw some music in. I don't know, something like that. But anyways, lots of thinking out loud, lots of changes over here, lots going on. That is for sure. But um, yeah, we're going to have kind of a busy weekend. Andrew's going to go golfing, which is so exciting. I'm, I'm honestly so happy for him. He got a new golf club. He's all, he's all into it. And so... I'm glad he's finally doing something for him and that I will get some one-on-one -on -one time with the girls. I feel like that's much needed. So, um, but other than that, not much going on over here. I'm waiting for this big old storm to roll in. It's uh, monsoon season here in Arizona. We've been getting some rain and some good storms. So it's been really nice, but the sky is looking angry <laughs> right now. And I'm one of those where I love storms so much. Let me know if you can relate to that, but I love storms. And in Arizona, they're very rare. So when they do happen, I just, it just makes me so happy. So anyways, that is it for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. I'm trying to think if I have something coming up in the next week as far as um, more videos. I don't think I have anything planned. I know I'm going to do my September plan with me, um, I think the last week of August. And then of course there'll be a new release video for the health and fitness add-on once that is ready to go. So, but yeah, other than that, I, I guess I won't talk to you guys again until next Saturday. <laughs> so I hope that you have a wonderful week. I hope that you are taking care of yourself and taking care of each other. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you next week. <laughs> All right. I'll chat with y'all later. Bye.